SEO is about to change forever. And I'm not talking about ChatGPT. I'm not talking about Claude. I'm talking about a completely new AI that everyone is talking about. It is another AI from China. It is another deep seek moment. When you think about SEO for a moment, you think about SEO strategy, competitor analysis, you think about content creation, you think about backlink analysis, all of these things are thankless jobs within SEO. And you can now do what used to take days or weeks and cost thousands of dollars. Now it takes minutes and it costs you almost nothing. And the product that I'm talking to you about is Manus AI. And the catch here with Manus is that it is not widely available right now because it's invite only. So if you wanna get ahead of your competitors, now is your time to get ahead of it because some of the stuff I'm about to show you is going to blow you away. So the key point here is Manus AI does SEO for you at scale. SEO, content strategy, whatever you want exactly. I think of it as an A player employee where you just ask it to do one thing and it just says, you know what? I'll take care of it, I got you. Whereas when you think about a C player employee, they need a lot of instructions, they need a lot of handholding. That is the difference between Manus right now and ChatGPT. And I might even show you the difference between ChatGPT in a little bit, or maybe I'll save that for another video. But the key point here is that if you want hands-free SEO and content creation, I used to think maybe we're still a couple years away from that. That moment has arrived now with Manus and I spent my entire weekend working on this because I just think it's amazing. And to not be using this right now is a disadvantage. So now I'm gonna show you how I use Manus exactly. And I'm gonna give you a couple ideas you can use, not just from an SEO standpoint, but also perhaps beyond that. So let's dive in. So now we're inside of Manus and my original prompt here is very simple. I just said, break down the content strategy for clutch.co. My website is singlegrain.com and I wanna acquire high intent traffic that they're getting. What's the gap? What areas are they focusing more on? Show me a graph that shows content trends on the site over time. What on their site over time? What are opportunities we should attack? Feel free to ask me any clarifying questions before you start. And it does actually ask me some clarifying questions over here. And then what I do is I dictate and answer the questions and I'm basically telling it what I want. Industries, what categories I'm interested in, time frame as well. We're having a quick conversation here and I always like to prompt it and ask it to ask me clarifying questions. Then that way it's going to be more exact when it comes to giving me answers, right? So then it starts working here. You can see, okay, connected to data source. There's a terminal error and it just keeps working. Okay, here's what it's doing. Here's what it's doing. Here's what it's doing. Here's all the work that it's done over time. Task prog progress. It's done 16 different things and you can see, okay, different content gaps, visualization of content trends, analyze SEO performance metrics, all these things. I'm just going to get to the, you can see it's done a lot of work over here, right? Now, if I just show you the work that it's done, all the files in the session. So here's the content strategy recommendation. Okay. So it's saying, okay, core strategic pillars, implementation approach, service selection, content hub, vertical specific marketing solutions. These are the recommendations it's giving me and I'm not going to dive too much into it based on analysis that it's done. And it's also giving me a plan in different phases. So 90 day plan and then goes to phase two, phase three, and then here's a distribution strategy. And these things are, I would say skimming this right now. This looks fairly decent. It's not as detailed as I would like it to be, but it's a decent starting point, right? And if I actually look at the comprehensive report that it has over here, it gives me an executive summary and it's fairly long and it says, okay, based on our findings, we recommend that single rate implements a multi-phase content strategy focused on developing a service selection content hub. So I have an ad agency single grain, vertical specific marketing solutions, AI marketing implementation and selection resources, a review centric content structure, which is what Clutch has, geographic marketing solutions. And then it gives me a table of contents here. And then it kind of just keep moving down the list. Now, what I would say is if you are a standard content marketer or SEO person, this might take you a couple days or weeks to get done. And I'm talking about these 16, 12 documents or whatever it is exactly. And so it's saying, okay, here are the content categories for single grain. Here are the Clutch CEO content strategies, key category differences, Clutch organized by service provider category and selection criteria, high intent keywords, okay, best service companies, higher service company, which we don't have this permutation over here, service company reviews, location services, company versus company, service pricing comparison, service agency costs. That's pretty awesome. And I can actually maybe ask it to expand on these BOFU bottom of the funnel keywords if I want, but I'm just looking for nuggets over here that I can take. I'm looking for ideas here that I can take. And I can tell just by skimming this that, okay, one, I got some new keyword permutations to go after, but I can see Clutch is really pushing hard on AI and machine learning. We can see 90% growth in that content category. And you can see other things here. I don't think this is going to go away. Digital transformation services and B2B service marketing providers, right? So that's interesting to me. If I keep scrolling over here, it, it will show me different trends. It'll show me how things are performing over time, approximately how many visitors, and then also how many visitors approximately we're getting. And maybe I might ask it to do a backlink analysis and tell me how I should be thinking about my backlinks external and internal, right? For the future. And then what this can do is it can actually hook in with Ahrefs 
And that's pretty insane because if I can hook him with Ahrefs, I basically have an SEO strategist here doing the work for me. I asked him to do visualizations for me as well, and you can see what it looks like. And I wouldn't say this is perfect, but at least it's a starting point. So I can iterate off of this. This is just the very first iteration. It also gives me content strategy recommendations over here as well, which I think I might have covered already, and then prioritized opportunities over here. So again, I can ask it to expand on any of these things over here. So to me, there's no excuse now. Let's say someone on my team on the SEO side, there's no excuse to say, oh, I don't have any ideas or I don't know what to do. You can literally do this now. And my prompt was even that great. Note also here as well in Manus, I used the high effort. There's basic like standard prompting, there's high effort. And this did the work for me. In a lot of cases, I can one shot these, meaning that I can just ask it one question. It'll give me what I'm looking for. I think this is a really good start. And that's why I say the ability to, to move a lot faster when it comes to not just SEO, but just work in general is, is pretty amazing, right? What ultimately me this means is I am saving a lot of time because now this takes minutes to do instead of weeks. And I'm also saving a lot of money too. And I can also have the people on my staff go work on higher leverage opportunities. And so I think that's fantastic. But not only that, this part I actually think is more exciting to me. And here's what I said. So I want you to handle programmatic SEO for singlegrain.com based on this prompt. Give me 50 keywords you target before we proceed. And then what I did was I was using Grok. If we take a look at the keywords it's given me, it actually says it's done 50 keywords for me, five to seven words, focus on LinkedIn ABM for enterprise clients. And it's actually categorized them by search intent, funnel stage, competition level, and business value. And it shows, you know, what percent is strong alignment to single grain services and low competition rages. I didn't ask it to do these things. This is an example of an A player employee that will go above and beyond. And so let's just take a look at some of the keywords here. So informational intent might be top of funnel. So how to personalize LinkedIn ABM ads for enterprise accounts, how to optimize LinkedIn, Okay, ads for account-based marketing, large enterprises, and then commercial. So this is all great. This is a great starting point, and, and I can say I vetted this, and then you can see it bottom funnel decision, right? You can see it's kind of mapped it out for me. And I can say, I want keep more keywords like this. Maybe you should tweak this over here. Maybe I don't like keywords like how to demonstrate LinkedIn ABM campaign value to executives. Maybe I think that's more top of funnel because I'm maybe I'm looking for more for people ready to buy. But my point is it's done this research for me in minutes where it usually would have taken me maybe someone on my team days or weeks and hundreds, if not thousands of dollars to do this research. And so now if we scroll down, I'm like, okay, I like the keywords, but let's take it one step further. So I want to design these for the single grade blog. I want you to take a look at singlegrain.com slash blog to get a sense for our writer's guidelines and then come up with the proper template for these posts, then write one for me to review. Okay, then starts working again, starts working. Okay, so it does the blog analysis over here. It gets a sense for how we write in general. What I might do is I might actually integrate this with our style guidelines for single grain. And then what it might do from there is it might just combine them and make it make it into a style guide maybe. All right, so I wanted to take a second to tell you about my ad agency, Single Grain. We're a performance digital marketing agency and we focus primarily on working with B2B companies and e-commerce. So performance marketing, that's SEO, that's paid media, that's CRO, that's ad creative. And there are a whole host of other things that we're doing with AI. That's really cool. You can go to singlegrain.com to learn more. Again, it's singlegrain.com to learn more. And we'll see you on the other side. So here's a blog template that I might have. Here's a structure of how it might look. And then what I would say is if we look at the sample blog post over here, this is where the rubber meets the road. So how to personalize LinkedIn ABM accounts for enterprise accounts. Here's a table of contents. Here's the key takeaways. Here's the top. And then it just goes down and goes down. I'm just giving this right now. Here's a personalization matrix. It also provides some statistics statistics as well. I think this is probably a good start. Look at the results over here. So, you know, 4.2 X higher click through rates, 267 per increase in content engagement from target accounts. I think this post just by skimming it is probably a seven out of 10 or so. I'm also interested if I run it through content detector AI, this is a 2100 word count post. And you can see it says that the probability is likely human, right? How to artificial is your content, 33%. So I wanna bring that down. So I might wanna have a human in the loop here still to make sure that we're editing these posts and then adding facts, adding links and making it sound more human and adding perhaps more case studies and integrating my, where, where I can, integrating carrots in because that's the ABM solution that I sell. And going from there, you can use any plagiarism checker you want, but contentdetector.ai, that's what I'm using here. From there, I can say, okay, well, this looks good. They've created a template. I think the template looks fine. So now I'm like, okay, now do this for all the keywords you gave me. And it's like, okay, I'm going to do it for all 50. Would you prefer I deliver blog posts and bashes? And I was like, oh, that's actually a good point. Maybe don't give me 50 because I might want to edit them more. And so what it does now is do the first so I can review. Yes, focus on high priority keywords and then work your way down. Get the first 10 down as soon as you can. And then I'll review. And look, it starts ripping on these. And then completed posts include how to use AI for tailored LinkedIn ABM ads and tech companies, effective ABM personalization. So these are keywords that I actually would want to go after. If I just click on one of them right now, this looks fine on skimming. I think this is 
cool because our writer guidelines are, yeah, we should aim for 1500 plus word blog posts and that's what it's doing over here. So now I'm like, oh, by the way, crap, I forgot. All of these blog posts need to integrate care.ai, which is my LinkedIn EBM software, so we can make people more aware of it. And then I kind of mentioned some of the key results and things like that. And then it asked me more and more questions. And then now it's working, but here's the thing. The context window is too long. So I get really frustrated when a chat GPT or a Claude, for example, I get stuck and then I can't continue the conversation. The cool thing is, I can actually take this conversation here, I can copy it. And then now, because I ran out, I can just say, okay, please continue this work. And then now it's gonna start looking at that context window and it's gonna start continuing on that work. I think you guys get the picture. This is insane. When I say you can do SEO 100 times faster, what's gonna to happen tomorrow is I'm gonna show my entire SEO team and say, hey, this is how we do things now. And there's no reason for us not to create a lot of these high intent type keywords, whether they're top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, bottom of the funnel. And they're also very high quality too. So if you have a human in a loop, they're just handling the editing piece. And that's basically it. For me, you know, when I think about creating content on the SEO side, look, it's still working right now. I can just work a lot faster. And, and same thing, like with me creating this video, I used, AI to help me create the right script, the right headline, the right packaging for the thumbnail. I did all that using AI. There's no excuse now for people at my company at the very least to do this stuff. And there's no excuse for you if you're watching this not to do this because you are now 100 times faster from the SEO standpoint. You just need to make sure that you go get access to Madness as quickly as you can. Go request that invite and go from there. Look, if you enjoyed this video, go check out the next one over here on how SEO is dying, traditional SEO is dying. It's not quite dead yet, which is why I did this video, but go watch this video just to understand what the implications are and we'll see you in that video.